Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. It's your boy Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today for you guys, uh, what we're going to be getting into is another one of these uh, Grand Quest missions, guys, alright? So, I was able to go ahead and knock out another one for you guys today. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, what's going on here, folks, alright? So, the one we're going to be talking about today is going to be the uh, Interoth Genesis Grand Quest, alright? So uh, this one is not too difficult guys, All right, I actually found out what to do on this one fairly quickly. Um, after my first run through, I had completed half of what was necessary already. So uh, you can do this one pretty quick and easy guys, alright? But uh, 50 energy guys, you can bring two squads, alright? Uh, here are the achievements real quick. Of course, I will go ahead and pop that off to the left side of the screen for you guys so you'll be able to keep track of it. But uh, for the most part, this one's pretty straightforward, all right? Um, I'll explain everything to you, of course, as we get to it. But uh, you got two gold missions. You got two silver missions, all right? Um, gold 1, recover Ezra. Gold 2, defeat the High Inquisitor. Silver 1, defeat Dragon Rider Azerai. And Silver 2, defeat High Inquisitor within 10 turns, all right? So only four uh, achievements you got to go for here. Nothing too uh, crazy. So I'll go ahead and show you. I got squad one here on Avani's team, and then you got squad two here on uh what the heck is this unit's name? I can't believe I'm forgetting it. Uh da da Corzan, there we go. On Corzan squad, alright. Now the way this Grand Quest map is set up, um I'll explain that while I show you guys my units here. Um the way this Grand Quest map is straight up set up. Is uh, pretty straightforward, guys. All right, you got a uh, squad number one on the left side of the map, squad number two on the right side of the map. Their paths do not intertwine at all, guys. And the uh, pretty much the beginning and end uh, destinations are the same on both sides. All right, so um, nothing really to worry about which way to go. Am I going to get lost? Should I go over here, over there? You don't really have to do too much of that um, in this GQ mission, guys. All right. So as you see here, you got two squads, um, two of the six uh, slots in each squad are filled, all right? So you are able to bring four of your own units. Um, just try to mimic the squads that I'm bringing here or use sub substitution units, whatever works in, in the event that you don't have the units that I'm showing you here. Um, substitution units should work just fine, all right? Now, the, both of these squads were able to get the job done for me, so uh, of course, they should be able to do the same for you. Last unit here, Zero Iron, and then we can go ahead and get to the getting, baby. Alright, so uh, I'll explain pretty much the purpose of each of these units real quick. Um, cool you, we are mainly using for his uh, leader skill, alright? Um, negates elemental damage, negates status ailments. That's the main thing, all right? He also is the unit that gives BB gauge on attack. Very important for squad number one. Um, Yura is definitely important for uh, one of the achievements. The Silver 2 achievement, de defeat High Inquisitor within 10 turns. Um, there's a, sp a specific way you have to battle the High Inquisitor in order for you to be able to defeat him within 10 turns because uh, during the battle, he does a lot of damage mitigation, guys, that can pretty much hold up turns because you're not going to be doing more than one damage when he puts up mitigation, which can put you in the bind, but Yura is a definitely a key unit here. Uh, Melchior is there for status ailments, but uh, during the Grand Quest, you are able to pick up Alanon, and he does have his Redis staff equipped. So if you take the correct path, um, you are able to pick up Alanon. I recommend you put him over Melchior if you're going to be mimicking my exact squad. Next is the Lord Mayor, so of course he is there for mitigation, all right? And then of course you got the two automatic units that you cannot swap out. Now to squad number two, we're using Lafayette for a similar reason, all right, to um, Koyuk on squad one. She, she also negates elemental damage, but also critical damage, all right? So that'll help you out there. Selena, we're mainly bringing on squad two for HOT. There's a couple battles um, in squad two where you're definitely gonna need that uh, HOT there to uh, counteract the DOT. 
Um, Lance, we are bringing mainly for status ailment removal. All right. Um, you are you do get hit with some status ailments in uh, the battles that squad number two has to undertake. So bring a unit that not only uh, has some way to nullify status ailments on themselves, but that can also remove them from the rest of the squad. Very important. And Zero Eye is there mainly, as usual, Spark Blanket, BC Production, ba 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 ba. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Basic item set here, guys. Nothing really special. Alright. So, um, as usual on my Grand Quest videos, I'm going to explain everything that you need to do in order to complete this Grand Quest 100%. In order to do so, you will have to run it two times, guys. 50 energy per run means you're going to need 100 energy in order to successfully complete this uh, Grand Quest 100%. Okay, so uh, first let's skip the yak and then I'm going to break down each achievement. All right, well, actually, I'm not going to break down each achievement because uh, the way you have to proceed in this Grand Quest is pretty straightforward. All right, so basically, I'm going to explain to you what's going to happen. And then once I get to a stopping point, I'll call it, um, I'm going to break down to you uh, how to get each separate achievement on each run, all right? Now, one of these achievements you're pretty much going to get automatically. It's Silver 1, Defeat Dragon Rider Azerite. On the way to doing whichever goal mission you're trying to accomplish, you will automatically get Silver 1, all right? You pretty much can't dodge it. You can't avoid it. It's going to happen, all right? Um, the rest of it, once we get to the stopping point, I'll explain which path you need to take in order to uh, get the each uh, achievement done, alright? So first, let's explain what's going to happen throughout this Grand Quest, alright? What you're going to do, you're going to take Squad 1 up to the Bazaar, you're going to do your battle and so forth, and you're going to take Squad 1 up to the Foundry, you're going to do your battle and so forth. That is where you'll be able to pick up Alanon. I highly recommend you pick them and put them over Melky, alright? After that, you see these locked doors up here in front of the foundry and the bridge. Those will remain locked, guys, until, of course, you go over here to squad number two. You move them up to the Fire Legion Garrison. You do battle. Then you're going to move them up to the Sanctum of Fire. You're going to do battle, all right? Um, in the Sanctum of Fire, you're going to fight what's called the Inquisitor Shadow. It's just like a little mini boss. Um, he's very easy, guys. Nothing to really worry about. Just auto battle all the way through. You'll get it done quite easily, all right? After that... Um, you, you're able to move up to the Dragon Pen, alright? The Dragon Pen, you are going to fight Dragon Rider Azerai for the first time. Now, the first time you battle him, um, you only have to get his HP down to, I believe it's 40%. So, uh, just keep on wrecking him until you get him down to 40% and then he's going to run away. When he runs away, um, this door in front of the Dragon Den is going to unlock and the, then you go down to the lava pool here you're gonna fight Dragon Rider Azariah for real this time alright now he is fairly easy um, he's gonna do some DOT to you just counteract that with HOT um, the only thing you need to worry about guys alright when you are fighting Dragon Rider Azariah if you are not careful this battle can go on forever guys alright you have to know what to do in order to be able to uh, be defeat this guy now, granted, he's not a difficult boss if you know what you're doing, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, beat him down, right? Just beat him down, beat him down, beat him down until you get him to around 40% or so HP, all right? Once you do that, you're going to see a message come up on his screen called Enough of This Trifling, all right? When you see him say, say that, what you're going to want to do, you can beat him down to very low HP, but do not put him to 0% HP, until six turns later, when you see another message come up stating the Ganth is sucking in massive amounts of lava. All right, the reason you want to wait, guys, he has Angel Idol effect on himself. If you do not wait until six turns later, six turns later for him to clear out that Angel Idol effect, um, what he does when the Ganth sucks in massive amounts of lava, he removes all buffs on himself, including the Angel Idol effect. All right. Now, like I said, beat him down to low HP. Do not kill him until he removes that angel out of effect from himself. Um, once he does that, that's the turn, the exact turn you want to wipe this guy out, all right? If you do not kill him on that turn, guys, he is going to wipe you out. He's going to use an attack called Flash Nova, um, and it pretty much does like a million damage. There's no surviving it, basically. So you're going to have to start the fight over, which we don't want to do, all right? 
So um, that's how you defeat him. Once you defeat him, you're done with Azurai. All right. Uh, then the door above the lava pool is going to open up, and the door above the higher arch tower is going to open up. All right. Now, once again, I don't know if I mentioned it. Once these doors above the foundry and bridge open up, you go up to the higher arch tower. You fight another Inquisitor Shadow. Very easy minute boss. And then you defeat Azerai over here in the lava pool. You're going to open up the door above it. That leads to the side nod of Forebearers over here. And then you are also going to open up the door that leads to Belfry Peak here. Now this is our stopping point, guys. All right. Once you get that far in the grand, grand quest, what you do from there on out determines what achievements you are going to get. Okay. Now, when you defeat Dragon Rider Azerai at the lava pool, boom, that's silver achievement number one, done, check mark, it's done, alright, now the rest of these depends what path you take from the stopping point, alright, if you want to get goal achievement number one, recover Ezra, what you're going to do is take squad two and move him from the lava pool up here to the side of the forebearers, defeat the boss Ezra, boom, goal number one, done, alright, now, let me explain that boss battle real quick. It's not too difficult, guys. The only thing you got to make sure you do is pay attention, all right? Avoid all distractions, okay? Because if you miss the message that comes up, you are pretty much toast, all right? What you want to do during the Ezra boss battle, once you get in there, just SB a beer all the heck, all right? Uh, once you get her down to about 90% HP, she's going to become immune to BB attacks, all right? So if you use a BB, not only is it not going to do any damage, but she's also going to use a move on you called Vengeance, which is pretty much a million damage, removes all buffs, and completely wipes out your BB gauge, aka there is no surviving that crap, all right? So make sure you're paying attention. Watch for that message, guys. You don't want to miss it because you'll end up having to restart the whole freaking battle if that happens, okay? Now... Once you uh, beat her down with only SBBs and UBBs at this point, all right? You cannot use BB. You can still use SBB. You can still use UBB, all right? Now, once you get her to about 50% HP, she's going to pop up another message. Now she's going to become immune to SBB attacks. You can hit her with BBs. You can hit her with UBBs. You cannot hit her with SBBs, guys, or you're going to get that vengeance again, and you're going to get wiped out and have to restart the battle, all right? So try to avoid that. And then lastly, when you get her down to about 25% HP, um, she is going to become immune to UBBs, all right? So you can still hit her with BBs. You can still hit her with SBBs. Do not use UBBs, or you will face that vengeance, get wiped out, have to restart the battle, all right? Other than that, the only thing you have to worry about that she does um, is um, damage reflect, all right? Starting at around 40% or so HP, she uses a move called Parry Stance, where she gives herself a 20% boost to her attack, and she's going to reflect somewhere between 30 and 50% of the damage dealt to her back to you, all right? Um, during these two turns, I personally just guard it, all right? I just guard my whole squad, take a little bit of the beating, guard my whole squad again, and then uh, take a little bit more of the beating. Then once it wipes out two turns later, we are ready to move ahead. All right. So that's how you defeat Ezra. Um, not too difficult, guys. Just make sure you're paying attention. You'll be able to wipe her out fairly easily. Okay. Now, once you get back to the stopping point on your second run, this time, you're going to want to take squad number one up to the Belfry Peak. When you take squad number one up to the Belfry Peak, this time you are going to fight the real High Inquisitor Aaron. This, it's not going to be the Inquisitor Shadow mini boss. This is the real deal, guys. Uh, the thing about this guy, though, um, this is how you're going to get gold achievement number two as well as silver achievement number two. Not only do you need to defeat this guy, but to get silver too, you need to do it within 10 turns, guys, all right? Now, how are you going to do that? Well, let's explain how this boss battle goes, all right? I'm not going to explain everything that he does because he does a lot of stuff, but I'm only going to explain what you need to worry about in order to uh, accomplish this mission successfully, all right? First thing you want to know first and foremost, okay? When you're fighting the real high Inquisitor Aravis, one thing you want to make sure you do is you destroy him before you destroy his, uh, I, I think they're called pylons. 
All right, you're gonna notice that when when you fought him in his his Inquisitor Shadow, it was only him by himself. When you fight in the actual High Inquisitor Erevis, he has himself as well as two pylons called Censure and Admonish. All right, um, make extra 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 sure that you destroy the High Inquisitor Erevis first. Do not destroy Censure. Do not destroy Admonish before you destroy High Inquisitor Erebus. If you do so, he's going to hit you with an attack called Focipitance, and it is pretty much going to wipe you the heck out. All right, it's going to kill you. So we want to avoid that. Make sure you kill him first. How are you going to do that? Um, if you saw my squad, not only does it ha automatically have Naomi with you, which is great, but I also brought my own Yura. Um, the way this guy works. He has pretty much a five turn cycle. He does the same thing, the same attacks uh, pretty much every turn. So on turn number one, he's going to do the same attack that he's going to do on turn number six. And on turn number two, he's going to do basically the same attacks that he'll do on turn number seven, so on and so forth. This guy has a five turn cycle, all right? One thing you want to make sure you do in order to wipe this guy within 10 turns. Once you get him to a certain HP threshold, He's going to do some a move called Fossey Shield. All right. Um, not only is it going to decrease his BC drop, um, it's going to give him 100% damage reduction. All right. Now, what you want to do here, he this this damage reduction only lasts usually about two turns, guys. All right. So I'm uh, going there, just beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up until he removes that damage reduction me personally as soon as he removed that damage reduction what i did was uh i used yura's ubb all right and the reason i use yura's ubb is because i wanted to make sure i personally wiped him out before the pylons all right once you wipe him out then you can wipe out the pylons they have very low hp they're very easy to destroy okay but uh, once I UBB your, I literally took this guy from like 60% HP, maybe a little more, and just wiped him right out, all right, with, with my squad that I use. So uh, you're a UBB for the win. It is very, very, very freaking strong. I like destroyed that guy from like 60, 70% HP. So um, once you do that, you should have that done somewhere within the vicinity of five to seven turns, all right? and you'll wipe him out then you can wipe out his pylons if not that turn the following turn i wiped him out the same turn i wiped him out so it all worked out just fine but uh th if you do it that way you leave yourself some room in order to get this done guys all right so that is basically the explanation of completing this grand quest 100 percent guys all right so what i'm gonna do for you guys now is just do a quick run um, I think the one I'm going to go for is goal number one. Let's go ahead and uh, recover Ezra for you guys. So uh, let's go for that achievement, all right? Here we go, guys.
guys and that's pretty much that for this 100% completion guide to this grand quest right now I know I said I was going to go ahead and follow the gold one path for Ezra but during the duration of completing this for you guys I kind of thought it'd be more beneficial to show the battle with the high Inquis inquisitor since it's a little more strategic so uh I don't know what the heck is going on here but sure but uh it, it, I thought it would be a little better to go the High Inquisitor route instead of Ezra, right? Ezra's pretty straightforward, just don't BB when she says don't, don't SBB when she says don't, don't UBB when she says don't. But the High Inquisitor is a little bit more strategic, and I believe I got it done in exactly 10 turns. So uh, that 10 turn, we went ahead and finished off at minus, and that was the end of it. So, um, any questions, any comments, guys, leave them down below. I'll do my best to help you out on this one as usual, okay? Um, other than that, hope you found this helpful, informative, and enjoyable. If you like the video, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel for more Brave Frontier content, alright? Uh, other than that, that's going to wrap this one up. So, uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for staying tuned. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.